Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy, I want to say. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy, I want to sandwich. I did that on purpose. So today we're gonna to talk about how to get your command set up in Cruise Control because we just went over how to get it installed. Now we need to actually get some functionality to it. So let's go through that right now. Oh, also, beforehand, if you like any of this content, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing, liking, sharing the video. Check out any of the socials. I got all the links down below and any links to any of the resources in this, in this video will also be down below. But I'll see you guys Okay, so Cruise Control operates on a series of triggers. You set a bunch of triggers within its within its files, which we're gonna get into in a minute. So set the triggers, Cruise Control is gonna see these triggers, react to them with actions. So it's like Newton's first law, right? You know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, you know, smart stuff. So anyway, the ones we're going to focus on today, the chat triggers. So you can see there are a bunch of different triggers here. There's some on channel points. You can do API calls, hype trains, lists, etc., etc. We will get back to this in future videos. I want to focus on chat. So some of the triggers are going to be on command. This simply looks for a command in chat that you set, you designate, and Cruise Control reacts to it with whatever actions you've specified. On every chat message is one that is literally going to react to every single chat message that does not come from your account. And then there's also on keywords. So if you have, you know, a special keyword that you want to be in chat, respond that you want Cruise Control to respond to, it can respond to that specific keyword. And then on speak, this is like a speak event when a member, like a VIP, for example, or a sub comes into your chat for the first time and they say something in your chat, it will react with maybe like they have a song or they have like a video that plays or something. So that's how you can operate that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there are some specific chat actions, which means that you can, you can actually run these together. So if there's a chat command, Cruise Control will say something in response in chat, or it can whisper something to the user um, in chat. First things first, let's go to our Cruise Control folder, where we have it saved, okay? We see a lot of these files here. We don't need to mess with any of the folders. Um, don't worry about these. These are different types of triggers. I'll talk about those in another video. Today's video, we're just gonna talk about straight up the normal triggers file. So we open it, these things are already built in and they're super helpful, okay? So you have a test command. So if you type in chat, it's exclamation mark example, it should, it should respond with success, it worked. Um, then every time cruise control starts up, it initializes, that's what on in, on in it is, it's on initialization. It'll send in chat, cruise control initialized. Let's test that real quick, just to see. All right, let's run example, success it worked. And if we reset, we see reset, and it should reset everything and we should see cruise control initialized. So let's go through the first thing. Let's just kind of customize this to make it a little more on brand, right? Sandwiches are a theme in this channel, if you couldn't tell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to say, cruise control is making, sandwiches and it's a happy it's happily making sandwiches so i'm gonna put the exclamation part it's exciting it's excited okay um we're gonna save control s or file save whatever and go back to obs now it's not going to do anything right off the bat because cruise controls already started and it started with the last parameters or the last file that was saved so we do have to run another reset so i'm gonna do kc reset again and this time instead of saying cruise control initialized it should say Cruise Control is making sandwiches and it's happy about it, okay? So there, that's the one thing um, that we've got customized already. So we're good, we're, we're, we're moving, baby. We're doing pretty good. As we saw in the documentation, we have a chat command. So this is gonna look for in chat, a specific command. Now there were other parameters I said I was gonna get to. So you see a B here. And if you miss any of these, the command will break and it'll break every subsequent command after that. So you do have to be sort of like nitpicky. You do have to pay attention to what you're doing. Always go through and, and check for any sort of broken parameters here. So these are the parameters we need. We have who is Cruise Control going to listen to? And if we look in the documentation, you can put E for everyone, B for broadcaster, S for subscriber, F for founder, V for VIP, and M for moderator. 
essentially what this command is telling us is on a command made by the broadcaster and then you see a number here what this number is is essentially a cooldown so after the command is operated it's going to start running a cooldown and it, this is in seconds so it's immediately going to make the command available again as soon as you type example you can type it again in chat you do not have to wait so if we wanted to wait let's do five seconds because uh, we need to keep it short for the video now what will happen is only the broadcaster can type in every five seconds example for this response to occur so for this action to occur so in chat cruise control will send this message all right so let's save this remember always save let's go back let's do another reset it'll say cruise control is making sandwiches and now if we do example success it worked but if i do it immediately after I don't get a response because it hasn't been five seconds yet. Now, if I leave this out, watch what happens. If I leave out the time, I'm going to save it. I'm going to mess this up on purpose. Okay. So it's saved. I don't have to close this text file. I'll, all you got to do is save it. Let's do a KC reset. So it will reset, but it's not going to initialize again because I broke the syntax of the chat command. So in order to fix this, you would simply have to go back in. You'd have to look through your commands, which this can get pretty crazy if it's a really, really long file. I get it. Programming life ain't easy, baby. And this is like not even like actual code. This is pseudo code, baby. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's simplified down for us, for us, the, the people who don't know how to code. Okay. Simplified down, but it makes you feel empowered. It's It's awesome. I love it. I love it. So now we can save it. Unfortunately, this command will not work because KC is still in the broken state. To circumvent this, we go into our source, try refreshing it here, and if we get the commands, if we say it's making sandwiches, we know that it worked. So I've had occasions where that doesn't work, so what I've done is I simply just go back in to where my cruise control file is, um, and then I will just re-add the index HTML. Those are a couple of things you can do to try to get this back up and running. So something else you may want to do is set up your own chat commands that respond to a user specifically. So maybe let's say we want to, we want a user to say hello, and uh, we want cruise control to respond back with hello user. So there are other parameters we can actually put into our commands. So. There is a user parameter that's built into this. You want to use the little squiddly brackets. I don't know what they're actually called. I like to call them the squiddly brackets. And let's go ahead and make an example here. So we'll say on command, you can say everyone can use it. Make a cooldown on this so people don't spam it like crazy. And we'll do hello. And make sure you don't forget to break these up. So chat will send back as a response, hello user i hope you're eating your sandwiches today okay cruise control can be a little judgy but only as judgy as you make it so you save that and now every time you change something you have to do a reset so we'll let it do its reset here and now hello and as you can see it says hello and it put my username in it says, I hope you're eating your sandwiches today. And I don't know what that is. That's that's not cruise control. This I must have had stream elements set up in there. So ignore that. This is what cruise control did right here, okay? That's what it did right here. So pretty cool stuff. Let's see what else you can do with it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot. Every single time you guys come in here and just leave comments and and like the video and subscribe and then share it with all your friends. It just, I, I love it. It means so much. Also come hang out. I love talking, fuck you. Remember to come hang out on Twitch. I'm live two nights a week. That's on Tuesday and Saturday, Eastern Standard Time. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned, We've got a lot more coming up.